Okay, a little bit of help here then. So whether you got a, you know, a document, you know, like CJ loves Dan. All right, so this is what you want to put the signatures on, you know, or whatever. So then um, I guess over to your iPad, right? So, okay. So when you're in the, the app and um, you hit the little plus sign down below, I'm gonna just hit scan for this one. I'll talk a little bit later about using Docu or uh, Google Drive, but it outlines it until it takes a picture of it for you. So if you're scanning docs, you know, or, or whatever, um, you got your little piece of paper now, brings it in and then now you've, it, it asks you uh, right away at the top, you wanna add more documents, I just hit next. Um, I put you and another person. Um, so I want to sign, like, like it's me signing plus somebody else. Um, it automatically has you in there, so that makes that part really easy. And now I just need to add, I'm gonna add you in, CJ. So I'm gonna put you in. And uh, I apologize, it looks like maybe in my safe stuff, I've got an old email of yours. So give me a second here and uh, I will go look up your new email. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna, I'll just use your Gmail and uh, throw that in there here really quick. So you just do your name and an email. Um, and obviously then above, you gotta pick whether you want that person to be a signer, whether you want them to you know, have to view or get a copy, that kind of thing, just like if you were on a desktop. Um, once you have them in, you hit next. Um, you can pick which thing, I'm gonna have you be a signer and I hit next. Now I've got both my people. I go ahead and hit next again. Now it's easy, you're just whoever you're on up at the top there, you just click it once, it puts it on the screen. Once it's on the screen, you can click and drag it around. So you've got the signature, I'll grab my name, um, I'll grab a date, like you kind of would usually for real estate stuff, um, whatever. And then just go back to the top and click the other person. And now everything turns blue so you can easily see when you're on you, you, you know, the different person um, that's on there. So you, once you click it, it puts it on there and then you can just move it around. It's as easy as that. Hit next. Um, put in your messaging, change your you know, subject line to the email that's going to go out with it if you, if you want. I'll just put in here that we're obviously testing and whatnot. Um, and then it'll, when you hit next on this next part, then it'll just ask you like, you know, what do you want to do? So you just keep hitting next in that upper right hand corner. It's like, oh, well you have to sign it too. So I'll just hit sign it now. It'll bring that doc right up for you quick and easy. You literally just click on your signature um, and then it'll ask you to complete out um, or whatever and finish. So it's gonna ask your location and all that kind of stuff and whether you want the app to track you. I always just leave it on only while using the app. Otherwise it'll chew up your iPad battery when it's not on, uh, that kind of thing. Once you clicked it and you're signed, you're all done. So it's probably sitting in your email right now. So pretty easy, but um, you know, a couple of things uh, too. When trying to get a document from your email uh, into there, I, I've found that the easiest way is to use um, Google Drive. So um, go into your email, whether it's your you know Apple email or Gmail app on your iPad. Um, go ahead and hit save to drive and then hook up and access your drive, um, you know, through the DocuSign app. Um, instead of trying to get it off of your iPad, I found that's just a little bit easier. Hopefully that helps, brother. And um, the only other thing, too, is make sure that your iPad and your DocuSign app are all the way up to date because a lot of times if they're not, it can really screw things up. Hope that helps, man. Peace.